Hello my friends and welcome to the fourth and last video of the ADAC SIM Expo 2024 at Dortmund. I have three more manufacturers for you including an interesting encounter with the Trustmaster T598. Acetec is a bit of an unknown for me. I have not tested their wheelbases and steering wheels before so it's very hard for me to comment on it all that much. Something that was revealed on ADAC was their Invicta Formula button box which aims to be the pinnacle of customization when it comes to steering wheels. The immensely insane configuration options make it a very interesting choice for those that find aesthetics important. Like with other manufacturers, the forged carbon that seems to be the hype of the month for building material is present. And if you don't have an Acetec base, no worries, because with the new open ecosystem policy of Acetec, you will be able to attach and make work this beautiful wheel with all wheel bases out there supporting a quick release system. I really was impressed with it, but all this comes for a price north of uh, 1,500 euro, which makes it available for only a very select portion of our community. Of course, I needed to test the new T598 from Trustmaster at ADAC. They had erected this black booth with on the side Trustmaster in it and an entrance guarded by one of the representatives. They were the only ones to do this, as all the rest of the manufacturers were in the open, accessible without having to register. I didn't really like that part, I was just thinking about skipping them, but I know that I would regret it if I didn't do so. So I registered, donated my data to their marketing team and went in and had a talk with the representative. The first question was on how many power it actually generated. The answer to that was 5 Nm constant torque with peaks up to 15 Nm. To be honest, I was quite surprised at hearing that. A second question was about TDFB. I always loved the TDFB in Gran Turismo and asked if they had implemented something in the new base. The answer to that one was no, no TDFB, as they had no license to do that. However, the employee continued, there was something like Harmony that would make you feel something similar due to the high frequency the servo motor operates on. So after this I was very anxious to try out uh, the new Trustmaster, but as soon as I sat down in front of the wheelbase I felt yeah, disappointed. A huge block of black plastic is how I can best describe it. Normally I don't mind it that much, if it doesn't interfere with the functionality of the wheelbase, but for some reason my eyes couldn't stomach this design. On top of the base you have the huge marble-like buttons flanking a very small display. The steering wheel feels about the same as the one of the T128, which is a perfect plan of Trustmaster since a lot of people will promptly buy another steer wheel once they lay their hands on this 30cm diameter plastic circle. It is functional and it has the necessary buttons on it and if the choice of material had been a bit more carefully done, I would even have liked the design. The drive itself was performed on a rally track in GT7, which is yeah, really a poor benchmark to test the steering wheel for the amount of detail and the different layers of force feedback. But I had no other choice since the Trustmaster employee denied me choosing another track like Monza. So how did it feel? Well good actually, the force feedback is very present, as is the fluentness and details and I also have to say that the strength was pretty intense too. It feels at least as strong or stronger than any 5 Nm bases I have tested so far on GT7. Unfortunately, it means very little, because as I explained, the cacophony of force feedback on a rally track is good at masking the fine details you get on a real track. The harmony that is mentioned as a replacement for the TDFB was also pretty much absent. I felt no jolts when shifting and no revving of my engine. If this is caused by settings, GT7 updates or the heavy force feedback on the rally track is a good question. The attending Trustmaster employee was also in no mood to answer my questions about it. With a price of 499, it is surprisingly the cheapest direct drive available for the PlayStation platform, with quite some distance to the 699 euro you need to cough up for the GTDD Pro 5 of Fanatec. It's too early to draw conclusions, although one thing I can say is that I really have issues with the boring plastic design, something that has not bothered me before in this degree. Those who were hoping for a worthy replacement of the TGT, like myself, yeah, you will feel very disappointed. 
Will the wheelbase sell? Of course they will. Thrustmaster is a very strong brand and still picks the fruit of its immensely popular Thrustmaster D300 base. With their distribution network and decent customer support, they also have a very large target audience. Of course, I needed to pass by our friends at Logitech too. I was curious about the Momo lineup for the available Logitech hubs. I found the GT320 steering wheel there and it looked very, very nice on that RS wheel hub. Logitech already presented their new hardware like the RS Hub, Shifter and Steer Wheels on the Logi Days event, which I covered in another video. But it was nice to see a bit more of the Momo steering wheels. They were a few very nice looking ones among them and I have to say that I was really impressed with the quality of those rims. I think this collaboration with Momo will pay off for both companies. It is certainly a good match. I also received a nice pair of gloves, which is always fun when you visit a big expos like this one, so thank you Logitech. For those who wonder why there is no Simicube, Simagic or Moza in the videos, well my time was very limited there. I only had in essence half a day to do the entire expo, which is not enough. This is also why I didn't really have that much time to really test out hardware too. I tried to grab as much information as I could to bring it to those that were not able to be present there. I hope you have liked and appreciated the series. As always, a thumb is appreciated. Thank you all for watching and hopefully see you next video. Bye bye.